Hey scientists, Mr. Kneven here, and today we are going to continue talking a little bit about our different states of matter, but we are going to add in our fourth state of matter, right? So we've talked before, a quick recap, we've talked a little bit about solids, right? And solid particles, they are vibrating in place, right? But they are moving real slow because they're solids, right? And these ice cubes, they're H2O, it's water, right? But they're solid. They don't take the shape of their container, but there is a definite volume of them, right? There's a certain amount of it, right? Now, if I get rid of our solids here, and I now am going to look at our next state. And solids turn into liquids as they reach 32, deg 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, and they melt, right? So... If we look at a liquid here, right? This liquid is a definite volume, but there is no definite shape. It took the shape of this flask, right? And if we even notice how we see the steam, right? So that is vaporization. We've talked about that before as well. So our changing states of matter, we can recognize solids turn into liquids through melting. We see liquids turning into gas through vaporization. And we can even then go the other direction, and say that we have liquids, and if I bring this to the lens, right, we can see the water droplets condensing on the glass there because the hot air, the hot gas, is touching the cool surface of the, uh, the flask, and they condense. And then liquids can actually then freeze and turn back into solids, right? So those are our different changing states, but we haven't talked about the fourth state of matter, right? And that one is where we are taking gases and then passing electric current through them and we then have plasma. So plasma is our fourth state of matter that we're gonna look at here. Now plasma is when we take a gas, right? And I have these special tubes, right? And this one is full of air, right? And there's really, as I say, nothing in there, but it's actually air. Air is made up of oxygen and carbon dioxide, nitrogen, argon, some other gases, but Again, it's clear there's a coil up there because we have to pass an electric current through it. So electrons inside the tube run from the negative pole to the positive pole here, and they get super excited, right? That they gain energy there, and the electrons in the gas get, uh, go to a higher energy state, and then they emit light. So different atoms, different elements, will emit and produce different color lights. So let's check that out today. So our first one that we're gonna look at is air. And so if I put our air uh, tube in here, right? And we're gonna use this fancy machine where I am going to power it on. And what do you notice, right? We immediately see how it emits a light. So I'm gonna bring the camera over whoop, just a little bit closer, right? So right now we see that it is clear, it's powered off. And if I turn it on then, then we see this light being emitted, right? And this is essentially very much like lightning because air is what is then getting caught. It's, I mean, the lightning travels through and it's charging the particles there and it emits that light. There's not anything in the metal, the center tube, right? It's just air down this whole thing, but electricity passing through omits and it turns into kind of this, pla well, it is plasma, but kind of like lightning, right? And we call that a white uh, kind of light. So now let's change our tube. And again, let's plug it. I'll bring you back just a little bit here, right? And the next one we're gonna look at is oxygen, right? So oxygen, O2, right, is a standard element that's in air. So this won't be terribly different but at the same time, it's going to produce a more blue or violet kind of coloring, right? So if we flip this on, I'll power it down first. So I power it on and we're gonna turn, gradually turn the power up. And again, oxygen emits more of a bluish, right? Violet kind of color, right? As we look down, we power it off. And we'll power it back on. Pretty cool, right? And bring this back just again for another change over. So now we have xenon, right? Xenon is another gas, right? 
all these are gases and I put it in and we'll bring our camera back over. Now xenon is a fun one because xenon is used in like flashes for uh, old cameras, but xenon actually then has this purple, this violet, uh, indigo bluish kind of color, right? And if I can turn it down, it goes away, but if I turn it back up, pretty amazing stuff, right? That's plasma, right? We'll power it off again, bring our camera back. I'll do a quick changeover of another one. We have a couple left I'm gonna demonstrate. This one here is argon, right? A-R for argon. Now argon, this one's a really fun one because argon, bring our camera back, when having electricity pass through, it actually, let's gradually turn our power supply up, argon actually then omits more of a pink, a violet kind of color, right? As we look down our tube, power it down, it goes away, omit it. And this is all real life, no special effects to this, pretty cool stuff because we are looking at plasma, right? Power it off, bring the power supply down for our last one, right? And now some of you guys may be even starting to say, well, that's very much like neon lighting and that's exactly it. And that's our last one that we're gonna demonstrate. So we have neon and E, Neon here, so I'm gonna plug in our tube, right? And neon is exactly that. It's a gas that is in a glass tube and it has an electric current that passes through it. So let's take a look at neon here, right? So I power it on, slowly add more electricity, current going through. And this one I saved for last because it's super cool, right? And depending on how much energy I pass through, depends on how bright and intense it is. But that's exactly what neon lighting is, is if we have a glass tube just with neon in it and pass an electric current through it, it omits this orange red coloring. And that is exactly what plasma is right so neon lighting is an wonder is a wonderful example of plasma right i'll keep this on for special effects as we finish out we then also have lightning as a really good example of plasma as well because it's a gas with an electric current passing through it and then it omits light four states of matter